Hello, my name is Gianna Klein, aka The Archie from Tangie.co, and welcome to Home Talk. Start off by pouring a cup of warm water into one jar and pour dish soap into the container until it slightly changes color and mix it up. After it's fully mixed, fill all of the containers with an equal amount of paint or around half of a cup of paint. This paint should be acrylic paint because it'll spread out a lot better than other types. Add in soap water to each container. It should be just about a fourth of an inch of water. Mix each of the containers. The paint should run off of your mixing utensil just as water would. If there's any little bit of extra viscosity, go and add a small amount of water and then mix it up again and test. Prep a space with a drop cloth and plastic. Lay down your tabletop or canvas. If you are using a tabletop for this, go and lightly sand the surface. This is going to help the paint stick a lot better. Pour white paint onto the surface of your tabletop or canvas. Spread out the paint on the whole surface with a paintbrush and make sure everything is fully covered. Lay a dustpan on the top of the paint and line it up with the table's edge. Begin pouring paint into the back end of the dustpan. You might need to slightly go and push it backwards a bit. Do this slowly so the colors will stack. Continue to do this until there's just enough paint to where it's almost touching the little bit of a lip on your dustpan if you have one. After all of your paint is poured, slowly tilt the dustpan. Let the paint run down and slowly move the dustpan back. You are going to need to work a bit fast now so the white paint doesn't dry. Grab a blow dryer and spread the paint on the edges. You can also use a toothpick to stretch the colored paint out and follow up with a blow dryer to go and extend it out more. Use a paintbrush at the edges to extend and blend the colors more to make it look like it's smoky. Depending on how much white paint you used, you will also be able to get more or less of a smoky look by using just the blow dryer rather than just a paintbrush as well. Go around all edges and blend the paint along with also blow dry it. You will have about 15 minutes in total to work with the paint before it starts to dry. It will take about 24 hours to fully dry, but check the tabletop before doing any more work. Flip your tabletop over, remove any stickers, and scrape off any extra paint that might have dried on the back. Use black paint or sand it down to get rid of or cover any paint that might be on the back. Make sure the paint is fully dry and flip the table over. Since it is winter time here and it's really cold out, I'm going to use triple thick to cover the surface. But you could also use resin instead if you have space and you also have a well-ventilated area. Spread your varnish over the whole top of the table. Start at one end and move up slowly and make sure to go and get the sides as well. After it is dry, assemble the table legs. Find a place in your home to put the table. I am going to use this as a crafting table and put my cat's things under it to help save on space. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!